May 2018, Ministry of Health Ontario has changed their overdose protocol. These are all the signs and symptoms of any respiratory emergency. Proves your heart's beating. You need rescue breathing ASAP. And this is what they say to do. Well, step three should be rescue breathing for a hundred sound medical reasons. Then you may give naloxone and continue rescue breathing. There's chest compressions. If their heart stops secondary to a respiratory arrest, they're in big trouble. ACLS methods. See, and this is what's included in the kits. They finally added a rescue breathing barrier mask in May 2018. And watch out for this intranasal naloxone instructions inside that box. No rescue breathing mentioned. The most important part. Ministry of Health webpage where to get naloxone. There's a hyperlink to the federal government. We'll go back to that later. Anyway, there's George Dawood, he's a pharmacist at Windsor family pharmacist had a talk with him and this is some people from South Riverdale Community Health Center get back to this you can get naloxone here in Ontario from your pharmacist all the pharmacists have received Mr. Hoskins training and there's no barrier mass in here at all. Rescue breathing barrier mass. Hmm. It's strange. And then naloxone nasal spray. There's Mr. Hoskins' protocol in the box. And we'll, I'll show you the protocol from the manufacturer of the nasal. These signs here all proved that the heart's beating. And your dying lack of oxygen could be any of the hundreds of causes of respiratory emergency. Their heart's beating, they need air. This is what Mr. Hoskins says to do. And call I will give chest compressions. Well, it's not a sudden witness cardiac arrest of patients dying. Keep respiratory failure. Heart doesn't stop until you're brain dead. Lack of oxygen, chest compressions ain't going to do a dang thing. In this recovery position, jeepers, jeepers. If you're not breathing once every five seconds, you need air. Lack of oxygen kills every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. So, go back up here to the federal government. What they say to do. Here. This is the federal government. Canada. Out the government. Anyway, federal government. Good Samaritan law. Yeah, everybody should save lives. But a good thing to do. You should teach it in Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. So you got a little uh, provide first aid, include rescue breathing, CPR. Well, don't confuse basic life support for CPR. Their heart's beating. Because when your heart stops from any respiratory emergency, you've suffered severe hypoxia, your brain damage, it jumps to advanced cardiac life support. Rescue breathing is basic first aid knowledge. Bas basic life support. See, when the, when the old anesthesiologist overdoses you on narcotics, the only thing keeping you alive is ventilations. This is the American Heart Association, 2010. Dr. Lori Morrison from Toronto. It's a breathing emergency. Taxidermy. See? Practically every sign and symptom observed in a poisoning or drug overdose can mimic any other 
respiratory emergency. That's why you give them air, their heart's beating, see? BLS, basic life support, rescue breathing. And then it jumps to ACLS. That's for a very highly trained specialist. So overdose and respiratory depression, who is not in cardiac arrest, ventilations, rescue breathing, is a bag mass, followed by naloxone and advanced airway, which is rescue breathing for a lay person. You don't have naloxone. You just give them rescue breathing, keeps them alive indefinitely. Now, here's Mr. Hoskins' insert here in his in those packages. See that? Give chest compressions. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No rescue breathing. All these signs here. That proves your heart speeding. Could be any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency you give to air every second. You're withholding air from anyone. Every cell, tissue, and organs die in lack of oxygen. And here's what's inside that internasal naloxone. That's four milligrams. That's a very, very high dose. You're supposed to start off very slow with naloxone. And rescue breathing, they might wake up with just the rescue breathing alone. It's a breathing emergency. You betcha. So, don't be just giving them nasal naloxone expect, because it might not work. It doesn't work in lots of cases. Because your blood chemistry can go sour. This is from that video that's up on Missouri. You see, there's a barrier mass. That was from the South Riverdale Community Health Center. And this is what the South Riverdale teaches you here. This is like they took a copy out of Mr. Hoskins. They, they got rescue breathing. Well, the rescue breathing should always be here anyway to stabilize the patient first. So they didn't get it quite right. Anyway, always stabilize first because mimics of drug overdose. And then we go here. This is from South Riverdale Community Health Center. Rescue breeding, yes sir. Rescue breeded for any breeding emergency because there's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. This is the paramedics, Ontario. Yes, sir. Rescue breathing, rescue breathing. Not cardiac arrest. There's only 15,000 out of hospital cardiac arrest per year in this province. And this is a Canadian Red Cross. There's hundreds of causes of breathing problems. Chest compressions only is for sudden witness cardiac arrest because the blood is still oxygenated. Chest compressions only should not be used in a victim whose heart's beating and they've died from lack of oxygen. Because they need air. Stop breathing. You're not going to come alive until they start giving you oxygen. Heart and Stroke Foundation wrote Public Health and Dr. Lori Morrison. She's the world expert on poisoning, which says rescue breathing, rescue breathing, rescue breathing. See, sudden witness cardiac arrest is for a lay person who's never been trained. And rescue breathing. They sent them a letter and then they didn't do anything for more follow up. Carbon copy to Dr. Lori Morrison and Sean Hopkins, the manager at the works. Me and Sean are actually friends now because they've got a safer consumption site and the nurses are given respiratory assist, no chest compressions. They're killing you all on purpose. That's uh, a no brainer. Any five year old child knows you gotta breathe or you die. Summer. 2018 
federal government removed rescue breed and so that's costing you hundreds of millions of dollars because you were the old rescue breeding from any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. They're suffering brain damage, organ damage, and it's costing you an untold fortune. No more public health care because there's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency and they mimic drug overdose. And so you're all winding up brain dead, organ dead, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. Yes, sir, murder. September 5th, 2018. This is the Minister of Health in the foreground. This is a letter signed by 862 doctors, other health care providers. Stop murdering everybody in Canada. That's me with a t-shirt that says oxygen. Yes, if you've got a hundred, a hundreds of causes of breathing emergency, you need air. And they're teaching people to give chest compressions to the people who are alive. They're murdering everyone on purpose under doctor's orders.